Hello everyone, and I hope you're enjoying the screencasting course. Now when you started this course, you noticed that we started with a video quiz. Now I'm using Kaltura to make that video quiz, so let's look at that. In My Media, which is a tool that you can turn on, if you don't currently have it turned on, you can go down into your settings and turn on My Media. It'll probably be down here. When you do turn it on, make sure you click Save. But once you do turn on My Media, what you have is you have Kaltura as a tool. Now you could bring in videos from YouTube and from other places and add them and then turn them into video quizzes. And that's exactly what I did. But what you'll notice is, is that for this first video, currently there are no captions here. I wanted to show you how I go about captioning My Kaltura videos. And so let's take a look at that. If you are using My Media to record or to store your videos, you could actually request captions for a video in My Media. Simply click on the video itself, and what you're going to have is you'll have different choices you can make. For example, over here you have actions, and one of the one of the things you could do is order captions. Now, these captions aren't going to be perfect, and, and it'll vary depending on how thick of an accent you may or may not have, but when you order the captions, that's it. You order the captions, and the computer will try to auto-caption for you. I prefer YouTube's tool. What you're looking at here is my YouTube channel. Now, as I mentioned, I like using YouTube for captioning, basically because uh, YouTube gets a lot of practice at it. And so I log into my account and I see all my videos and I can go in and I can edit the captioning. Now, what YouTube does is YouTube's going to automatically caption for me. And I like YouTube's captioner. It actually does a really good job of captioning my voice. And one of the nice features it does is that right here, where this says actions, I can download the SRT file. Now you notice right here, it says captions SRT file. So now I can go back to my media and in my media, I can click on this video that does not have the captions. And I can go over here and edit this video. One of the choices in my media is to add captions, but it's gonna look for a captions file. And so I need to upload the captions file. So I'm gonna browse for my computer. I put it into downloads. And so I'll go to downloads and it's called captions one, so I'm gonna grab that, I'll say open, and then it's gonna ask for a language, and of course I'm gonna pick English. And then I'll say captions, I'll give it a label here, and I'll say save. And as soon as I've done that, it's actually loaded up the captions right there, and now my Cultura video has captions. So when I go to give the quiz to you guys, you'll be able to see the captions. And that's how I did it.